The World Forum for Harmonization of Vehicle Regulations is a working party WP.29 of the Sustainable Transport Division of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe UNECE. It is tasked with creating a uniform system of regulations, called UN regulations, for vehicle design to facilitate international trade. WP.29 was established in June 1952 as the Working Party of Experts on Technical Requirement of Vehicles", while its current name was adopted in 2000. The forum works on regulations covering vehicle safety, environmental protection, energy efficiency and theft resistance. <laughs> 1958 Agreement The core of the forum's work is based around the 1958 Agreement, formally titled, Agreement Concerning the Adoption of Uniform Technical Prescriptions for Wheeled Vehicles, Equipment and Parts which can be fitted and or be used on wheeled vehicles and the conditions for reciprocal recognition of approvals granted on the basis of these prescriptions. E. E. C. E. Trans. 505, Rev.2, amended on 16 October 1995. This forms a legal framework wherein participating countries contracting parties agree on a common set of technical prescriptions and protocols for type approval of vehicles and components. These were formerly called UNECE regulations, or, less formally, ECE regulations in reference to the Economic Commission for Europe. However, since many non-European countries are now contracting parties to the 1958 Agreement, the regulations are officially entitled, UN Regulations. Each contracting party's type approvals are recognized by all other contracting parties. <laughs> Participating countries. The first signatories to the 1958 agreement include Italy, March 28, Netherlands, March 30, Germany, June 19, France, June 26, Hungary, June 30, Sweden and Belgium. Originally, the agreement allowed participation of ECE member countries only, but in 1995 the agreement was revised to allow non-ECE members to participate. Current participants include European Union and its member countries, as well non-EU UNECE members such as Norway, Russia, Ukraine, Croatia, Serbia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Turkey, Azerbaijan and Tunisia, and even remote territories such as South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, South Korea, Thailand and Malaysia. As of 2016, the participants to the 1958 agreement, with their UN country code, were Most countries, even if not formally participating in the 1958 agreement, recognize the UN regulations and either mirror the UN regulations content in their own national requirements, or permit the import, registration, and use of UN-type approved vehicles, or both. The United States and Canada are the two significant exceptions. The UN regulations are generally not recognized and UN compliant vehicles and equipment are not authorized for import, sale, or use in the two regions unless they are tested to be compliant with the region's car safety laws or for limited non-driving use, e.g. car show displays. Topic: Type approval The 1958 agreement operates on the principles of type approval and reciprocal recognition. Any country that accedes to the 1958 agreement has authority to test and approve any manufacturer's design of a regulated product, regardless of the country in which that component was produced. Each individual design from each individual manufacturer is counted as one individual type. Once any exceeding country grants a type approval, every other exceeding country is obliged to honor that type approval and regard that vehicle or item of motor vehicle equipment as legal for import, sale and use. Items type approved according to a UN regulation are marked with an E and a number, within a circle. 
The number indicates which country approved the item, and other surrounding letters and digits indicate the precise version of the regulation met and the type approval number, respectively. Although all countries' type approvals are legally equivalent, there are real and perceived differences in the rigor with which the regulations and protocols are applied by different national type approval authorities. Some countries have their own national standards for granting type approvals, which may be more stringent than called for by the UN regulations themselves. Within the auto parts industry, a German E1 type approval, for example, is regarded as a measure of insurance against suspicion of poor quality or an undeserved type approval. Topic: <laughs> UN regulations. As of 2015, there are 135 UN regulations appended to the 1958 agreement. Most regulations cover a single vehicle component or technology. A partial list of current regulations applying to passenger cars follows. Different regulations may apply to heavy vehicles, motorcycles, etc. Topic: General lighting. R3 – Retroreflecting devices R4 – Illumination of rear registration plates R6 – Direction indicators R7 – Front and rear position lamps, stop lamps and end outline marker lamps R19 – Front fog lamps R23 – Reversing lights R37 Filament lamps, bulbs, C, automotive lamp types. R38, rear fog lamps. R48, installation of lighting and light signaling devices. R77, parking lamps. R87, daytime running lamps. R91, side marker lamps. R112, headlamp asymmetric. R119 cornering lamps R123 AFS lamps R128 LED light sources topic headlamps R1 Headlamps emitting an asymmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam, equipped with R2 or HS1 bulbs superseded by R112, but still valid for existing approvals. R5. Sealed beam headlamps emitting an asymmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam. R8. Headlamps equipped with replaceable single filament tungsten halogen bulbs, superseded by R112, but still valid for existing approvals. R20. Headlamps emitting an asymmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam and equipped with halogen double filament H4 bulbs, superseded by R112, but still valid for existing approvals. R31. Halogen sealed beam headlamps emitting an asymmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam. R45. Headlamp cleaners. R98. Headlamps equipped with gas discharge light sources. R99. Gas discharge light sources for use in approved gas discharge lamp units of power-driven vehicles C. Automotive lamp types. R112. Headlamps emitting an asymmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam and equipped with filament bulbs. R113. Headlamps emitting a symmetrical passing beam and or a driving beam and equipped with filament bulbs. Topic. Instrumentation, controls R35. Arrangement of foot controls. R39 — Speedometer equipment R46 — Rear view mirrors R79 — Steering equipment Topic. Crashworthiness R11 — Door latches and door retention components R13H — Braking passenger cars 
R13 braking trucks and buses R14 safety belt anchorages R16 safety belts and restraint systems R17 seats seat anchorages head restraints R27 advance warning triangles R42 front and rear protective devices bumpers etc R43 safety glazing materials and their installation on vehicles R94 protection of the occupants in the event of a frontal collision R95 protection of the occupants in the event of a lateral collision R116 protection of motor vehicles against unauthorized use R129 enhanced child restraint systems ECRS topic environmental compatibility R10 electromagnetic compatibility R15 emissions and fuel consumption superseded by R83 R84 and R101 R24 engine power measurement smoke emissions engine type approval R51 noise emissions R68 measurement of the maximum speed R83 emission of pollutants according to engine fuel requirements R84 measurement of fuel consumption R85 electric drive trains measurement of the net power and the maximum 30 minutes power of electric drive trains R100 approval of battery electric vehicles with regard to specific requirements for the construction functional safety and hydrogen emission R101 measurement of the emission of carbon dioxide and fuel consumption R117 rolling sound emissions of tires topic tires and wheels R30 tires for passenger cars and their trailers R54 tires for commercial vehicles and their trailers R64 temporary use spare unit run flat tires run flat system and tire pressure monitoring R75 tires for motorcycles mopeds R88 retro reflective tires for two wheeled vehicles R106 tires for agricultural vehicles R108 retreaded tires for passenger cars and their trailers R109, retreaded tires for commercial vehicles and their trailers R124, replacement wheels for passenger cars. North America The most notable non-signatory to the 1958 agreement is the United States, which has its own federal motor vehicle safety standards and does not recognize UN-type approvals. However, both the United States and Canada are parties to the 1998 agreement. UN specification vehicles and components which do not also comply with the U.S. regulations therefore cannot be imported to the U.S. without extensive modifications. Canada has its own Canada Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, broadly similar to the U.S. FMVSS, but Canada does also accept UN-compliant headlamps and bumpers. It should be noted, however, that the impending comprehensive economic and trade agreement between Canada and the European Union could see Canada recognize more UN regulations as acceptable alternatives to the Canadian regulations. Canada currently applies 14 of the 17 ECE main standards as allowable alternatives. The exceptions at this point relate to motorcycle controls and displays, motorcycle mirrors, and electronic stability control for passenger cars. These three remaining groups will be allowed in Canada by the time the ratification of the trade deal occurs. Topic: Self-certification. Rather than a UN-style system of type approvals, the U.S. and Canadian auto safety regulations operate on the principle of self-certification, wherein the manufacturer or importer of a vehicle or item of motor vehicle equipment certifies, i.e., asserts and promises, 
that the vehicle or equipment complies with all applicable federal or Canada motor vehicle safety, bumper and anti-theft standards. No prior verification is required by a governmental agency or authorized testing entity before the vehicle or equipment can be imported, sold, or used. If reason develops to believe the certification was false or improper, i.e., that the vehicle or equipment does not in fact comply, then authorities may conduct tests and, if a noncompliance is found, order a recall and or other corrective and or punitive measures. Vehicle and equipment makers are permitted to appeal such penalties, but this is a difficult direction. Non-compliances found that are arguably without effect to highway safety may be petitioned to skip recall remedy and notification requirements for vehicles already produced. Topic. Regulatory differences Historically, one of the most conspicuous differences between UN and US regulations was the design and performance of headlamps. The Citroen DS shown here illustrates the large differences in headlamps during the 1940–1983 era when US regulations required sealed beam headlamps, that as a contrary were prohibited in many European countries. A similar approach was evident with the US mandatory side marker lights. It is not currently possible to produce a single car design that fully meets both UN and US requirements simultaneously, but it is growing easier as technology and both sets of regulations evolve. Given the size of the U.S. vehicle market, and differing marketing strategies in North America versus the rest of the world, many manufacturers produce vehicles in three versions, North American, Rest of World Right Hand Drive and Rest of World Left Hand Drive Topic: 1998 Agreement The Agreement Concerning the Establishing of Global Technical Regulations for Wheeled Vehicles, Equipment and Parts Which Can Be Fitted and or Be Used on Wheeled Vehicles, or 1998 Agreement, is a subsequent agreement. Following its mission to harmonize vehicle regulations, the UNECE solved the main issues administrative provisions for type approval opposed to self-certification and mutual recognition of type approvals, preventing non-signatory countries to the 1958 agreement to fully participate to its activities. The 1998 agreement is born to produce meta-regulations called Global Technical Regulations without administrative procedures for type approval and so, without the principle of mutual recognition of type approvals. The 1998 agreement stipulates that contracting parties will establish, by consensus vote, United Nations Global Technical Regulations UNGTRs, in a UN Global Registry. The UNGTRs contain globally harmonized performance requirements and test procedures. Each UNGTR contains extensive notes on its development. The text includes a record of the technical rationale, the research sources used, cost and benefit considerations, and references to data consulted. The contracting parties use their nationally established rulemaking processes when transposing UNGTRs into their national legislation. The 1998 agreement currently has 33 contracting parties and 14 UNGTRs that have been established into the UN Global Registry. Topic. 2013 Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership proposed As part of the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership TTIP negotiations, the issues of divergent standards in automobile regulatory structure are being investigated. TTIP negotiators are seeking to identify ways to narrow the regulatory differences, potentially reducing costs and spurring additional trade in vehicles. OICA 
Organisation Internationale des Constructeurs d'Automobiles hosts on its website the working documents from various United Nations expert groups including World Forum for Harmonisation of Vehicle Regulations. See also Worldwide Harmonised Light Vehicles Test Procedures Vehicle Regulation Car Safety National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 108 Automotive Lighting Headlamps Assured clear distance ahead